I'm glad you were able to make it. If you were able to make it last year when they were in kindergarten to their demonstration, you would have seen them demonstrate a lot of the foundational skills um, needed to prepare them for learning their first song on the violin, which is one of the main focuses this year in first grade. Um, we take our skills that we've mastered last year in kindergarten and we continue to reinforce them and then we build upon them by learning number one our twinkle finger pattern and singing our twinkle song and knowing our twinkle finger pattern up here memorized and the other big thing which is probably their most favorite thing to do this year was we learned all about the bow. <laughs> in kindergarten, if you saw their demonstration in kindergarten, we didn't use the bow. So in first grade, this was the most exciting part for them. They got to actually learn about the parts of the bow. They learned the special way to hold the bow. And then we started learning how to make um, sounds with our bow and then learn how to start learning our, uh, how to play our twinkle song. So today we planned some activities just to show you the process that we uh, take when we are learning our twinkle song on our violin this year in first grade. So the first activity we're going to show you is just we're going to do a little singing for you because um, we had to memorize our twinkle song. So we're going to sing twinkle for you, but it's not twinkle, twinkle little star the way you know it with the words. We sing it the violin way. So who are my two volunteers? Kelly, come on up. Coda's not here. Oh, Coda's not here. Let's see. Let's have... Violin way. Everybody put your hands up. Go to the piano. Nice singing voices.
Salad. Very balanced meal. We've got protein and greens. Everybody stir it in your soup and stir your soup the other way. I'm going to be checking those two ingredients into our pot of soup. Jesus, can you add the third ingredient for us? Go ahead. Say, I'm making a pot of soup. I'm making a pot of soup. I'm going to add everything I'm going to add. What's what we have there? Venison is one. And what's the other thing? Venice. Good. And water. Water. Okay, water. you need water in soup, definitely. All right, stir in the water. And stir the water the other way. And I'm going to check and inspect. Freeze. We've successfully added. Would you like to add the fourth ingredient? What's the first ingredient? Uh -huh. Okay, bread. Good enough. Let's stir in the bread. We use our imagination. It's going to taste very interesting. Stir it the other way. And freeze. Let me check and inspect. Uh -oh. How about Coke? We've successfully did four ingredients, right? We need five in our soup pot. We're I'm making a pot of soup. Here. 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 <laughs> stir in the spaghetti and stir the spaghetti the other way. Sometimes I do have, this is actually not so bad because sometimes they'll put in cake and ice cream and sprinkles and, and inspect those boat ribs. They should be absolutely perfect. We have successfully stirred in five ingredients. So on the count of three, we're going to dip back like this, but always keep your boat and then you're going to sit down. Remember, if you taste your soup and you don't think you're going to like it, you will hold your nose, right? Because then you can't taste it. Ready? One, two, three. Taste your soup and come back down and sit down and let me see those boobers. I'm checking one more time. <laughs> Raise, and I always ask and we take a survey. Raise your bow in the air if you really liked this very interesting soup. <laughs> okay, <laughs>